हेलो एवरी वन टूडे वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्क अबाउट अ टॉपिक दैट इज ऑर्गेनाइजेशन ऑफ एन आई सी यू दैट इज न्यू नेटल इंटेंसिव केयर यूनिट फर्स्ट वन इज डेफिनेशन द न्यू बॉर्न और न्यू नेटल इंटेंसिव केयर यूनिट एन इंटेंसिव केयर यूनिट डिजाइन फॉर द प्री मेच्योर एंड इल न्यू बॉर्न बेबीज सो दिस इज अट वेयर ऑल द प्री मेच्योर बेबीज और लो बर्थ वेट बेबीज और इल न्यू बॉर्न बेबीज आर टेकिंग केयर ऑफ ओके बिकॉज दे हैव स्पेशल इक्विपमेंट न्यू नेटल केयर द मैनेजमेंट ऑफ कॉम्प्लेक्स लाइफ थ्रेटनिंग डिसीज प्रोविजन ऑफ इंटेंसिव मॉनिटरिंग एंड इंस्टीट्यूशन ऑफ लाइफ सस्टेनिंग थेरापीज इन एन ऑर्गेनाइज ऑर्गेनाइज to critically ill children in a neonatal intensive care unit you can see this picture next one is indication for the admission of nicu which baby will be shifted to nicu for the treatment or care the first one is babies less than 13 weeks 30 weeks of pregnancy very low birth weight baby or less than uh, 1.5 kg cardio pulmonary monitoring surfactant therapy convulsions severe birth asphyxia assisted ventilation total parental nutrition or major surgery next like in 1961 bender blit university by the professor mildred stanman or in mid 19th century dr stephen steiner father of incubator and dr budin father of paleontology they have introduced or they have given idea for this nicu aims of organizing of nicu reducing the neonatal mortality and improving the quality of life among the survivor means first aim is to reduce the neonatal death so even after that if the survive also the quality of life how they will live that also they can improve that is their aim objectives the first one is to save the life of the sick newborn to prevent the damage in infants with a problem at birth and also reduce the morbidity in later life and to monitor the high risk newborn so as to reduce the mortality and morbidity in these babies basic facilities there will be adequate space availability of running water centralized oxygen and suction facilities maintenance of thermo neutral environment availability of plenty of linen and disposables facilities for availability to treat common neonatal problems main components that to be considered while organizing the nicu physical facility personnel means staffing equipment laboratory procedure manual transport of sick infant and cooperation between the obstetrician and neonatologist the first one is physical facility in the physical facility what are the things we have to keep in our mind first one is location next is space floor planning lighting environmental and temperature and humidity handling and social contact communication system acoustic characteristics ventilation and electrical outlets location so location as close as to the labor room and obstetric care units so whenever they will plan or organize nicu it should be near to the labor room and as well as near to the ot where like if anything if any emergency it will be easy to transfer the baby from the nicu or this labor room or to from the ot to the nicu then educate sunlight for illumination and fair degree of ventilation for fresh air next is space sub as a referral unit for the infant born outside the hospital each infant should be provided with a minimum area of 100 square feet or 10 square meter space for the promotion of breastfeeding 500 to 600 gross square feet per bed and space include patient care area storage area space for doctors nurses other staff office area seminar room and the laboratory area and space for the family and there should be 6 feet gap between the two incubators and adequate circulation and keeping the essential life saving equipment so uh, between two babies at least there should be a 6 feet gap next one is floor planning there should be open and cumbered space 
the wall should be made up of washable glaze tiles and the windows should have two layers of glass panes wash basin with the elbow or floor operator taps facility having the constant round the clock water supply and should be provided the door should be provided with automatic close closure and isolation should room should be available ventilation there should be effective air ventilation and central air conditioning lightning the whole unit must be well illuminated and painted white the lightning arrangement should provide uniform shadow free illumination of 100 foot candles at the baby's level environmental temperature and humidity the temperature inside the unit should be maintained at 28 degree like plus or minus 2 degree while at the humidity must be above 50 percent and portable radiant heater infrared lamp can be used portable means it can be moved from one place to another place acoustic characteristics the ventilation system or incubator or air compressor or suction pump many other devices used in the nursery produce noise the sound intensity in the unit should not be exceed the 75 decibel the telephone ring and the equipment alarm should be replaced by blinking lights communication system the unit should also have an intercom and the direct outside telephone line electrical outlets the each patient station should have 12 to 16 central voltage stabilized electrical outlets sufficient to handle all species of equipments as you know in the ICO like for the adult ICO also you can see so many equipments will be there like monitor or uh, this cardiac monitor or infusion pump or you can see that pulse oximeter or artificial ventilation so for the each patient air should be at least 12 to 16 central voltage okay and an additional power plug point and there should be round the clock power backup including the provision of ups system that is uninterrupted power system staff or personnel a direct who is the full-time neonatologist one neonatal physician is required for every six to ten hours uh, sorry every six to ten patients one resident doctor okay and anesthetist the nurse's ratio a nurse patient ratio will be one is to one means for one baby one nurse like for special care neonatal unit one is to three okay but if possible one is to five also if shift is managed special care means they're not under ventilator support okay head nurse is the overall inches okay in addition to basic nursing training for level two care tertiary care requires like staff nurse need to be trained in handling equipment use of ventilators and initiation of life support like use of bag mask uh, resuscitation endotracheal intubation or arterial sampling the staff must have a minimum three years work experience in the special care neonatal unit in addition to having the three month hand-on training in an intensive care neonatal unit means they should be trained with that how to operate the all the equipments in the nicu other staff like respiratory therapist laboratory technician public health nurse or social worker biomedical engineer clerk okay next one is disposable articles required for the nicu okay you can see some picture like one these are some iv cannula okay this iv tubings iv catheters iv set microborate set bacterial filters feeding tubes endotracheal tubes suction catheter three-way stop cocks extension tubings umbilical arterial or venous catheters or syringe or needle so there's a two picture one is for ng tube one is for this tube feeding this are uh, tracheostomy tube this is extension syringe needle and this also extension see like with one prick if you are going to give two three types of fluids with one is uh, like saline one is for parental fluids one is uh, any other electrolytes so we can prick one time by using this three can go at a time baby care area area and the room for the inborn or the intramural babies examination area mother area for the breastfeeding and expression of breast milk and nurse station and charting area 
hand washing and ground uh, like grounding a room should be located at the entrance self closing door maybe you have seen all the icus they have self closing door next is skilled nurses neonatologist lab technician biomedical technician respiratory therapist and pathologist next we are going to see the equipments used in the nicu radiant warmer this is also incubator and wet machine and phototherapy okay suction and oxygen flow meter ambu bag cardiac monitor thermometer and suctioning okay and this is weight machine incubator and this is ng tube laboratory facilities and transfer of sick infants and procedure manuals cooperation between the obstetrician and neonatologist means like immediately after the delivery the delivery will be done by obstetrician immediately after that the neonatologist or pediatrician they will come and they will do a brief physical examination of the baby to find out that is there any complication or any abnormality antenatal care and fetal diagnosis perinatal hypoxia promotion of feeding with human milk supervised care of low birth weight next one is management of nursing care what are the care they will give for that in the nicu they will give ss they will do assessment they will monitor the physiological data safety measures respiratory support thermoregulation protection from infection hydration nutrition feeding resistance and skin care administration of medication developmental outcome facilitating the parent infant relationship discharge planning and home care and neonatal loss these are the things they have to do in the nicu the next one is level or grades of neonatal care so there are three level level 1 level 2 or level 3 the first one is level 1 the level 1 means they need minimal care okay see these three levels are categorized the newborn based on their condition so in the level 1 baby you know they need only minimal care provided by the mother under the supervision of basic health professionals mother only can provide the basic care but under the professionals and new nets weighing more than uh, like 2000 g or having gestational age maturity of 37 weeks or more uh, belong to this care this care can be include like care of delivery provision of vomit maintenance of hfcs and the promotion of breastfeeding so the level 1 baby they need minimal care okay with the help of the health professional mother can provide this care next is level 2 in the level 2 this care includes the requirement for the resuscitation maintenance of thermo neutral temperature intravenous infusion gaseous feeding phototherapy and excess transfusion 10 to 15% of the newborn require this care and this care is anticipated for the infant weighing less than or uh, between 1.5 to 1.8 kg or having the gestational age uh, between the 32 to 36 weeks the next one is level 3 this care includes life support saving support system like ventilator and the best suited special intensive neonatal care 3 to 5% of the newborn requires care of this level and this level of care is for critically ill baby for those weight is less than 1.5 kg or 1500 g or having the gestational age maturity of less than 32 weeks so like this they have uh, divided into three category 1 2 3 based on the age of uh, pregnancy or gestational period of pregnancy or based on the weight of the baby and based on the how much care they required so with this we have completed the nicu organization and level of care in the nicu thank you everyone